Good morning traders at CMC Markets. This is Trevor Neal, Research Director at RRG Research BV and I'm making this short recording looking at the short term implications in the charts at the moment on the morning of Wednesday the 24th, so before the European markets open and after the US markets have closed. This morning we're going to look at uh, the stock markets um, in the US and in Europe and we're going to do so with a high degree of tension. NVIDIA results are due out and uh, high expectations for that, positive expectations and uh, also we're waiting for news from uh, Jackson Hole. Now firstly the uh, Nasdaq 100. Moving down here with a series of High, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Now, it is also a lower high. Uh, the downtrend line, you know, it's a, it's a tricky line here. I'm not too confident that it's drawn precisely, but it was broken momentarily. And we pushed through um, uh, support, which, became, which was, had become resistance, uh, for 15,000 really, um, in the market. But we had a big reversal hour here. So we had a strong opening yesterday and then spent most of the day uh, drifting away after that. Not a good sign really, hitting resistance and then uh, with some power after a good run up um, since uh, the 18th and then drifting away um, in the way it has done now. It, it has rallied around 61.8% of the fall uh, from the high of the 15th down to the low of the 18th and it rallied then yesterday we had the strong opening and we've drifted away so at a 61.8 percent now that's quite a powerful jump in a bear market bigger than you would expect but we have started to drift the other support levels we've got are really nothing down until we get down to 14,500 so it's pretty vulnerable on the downside if it breaks up and we've got we're waiting for some news developments um, 15,038 would be confirmation of the breakup and then 15,200 would be the next level but it does look as though it's turned down here and weakening so if you're if you're inclined to follow the trend uh, then I think um, if we see break of these uh, lows here at uh, 14,850 um, then uh, we're probably heading at least back down to the lows um, here at 14,500 um, and we would know we were wrong and we could protect ourselves above this high here of uh, 15,000 um, just uh, just above 15,000 I'd place the order uh, um, I would avoid the round number if you were doing this um, and uh, 15,050 would be uh, a good sort of logical number not the high itself because that's the resistance point but you want to choose a level which is above it how far above it is up to you um, uh, but I think that if we clear that and it was only momentary then we are going up getting bearish on continuation of uh, the, foot, the drifting behavior that we've got now, protecting above the, uh, the opening high of yesterday, looking at the MACD narrowing up, still bullish, but narrowing up here to have maybe turning down, uh, but it hasn't done yet. But it is, of course, a lagging indicator. We can go down quite a bit before it does cross over. The RSI, however, has topped out and it's come down quite hard. And the stochastic gave a sell right at the high, right at the opening of yesterday. And if you're a stochastic follower, you'd already be short at a higher level uh, than we are now. At the moment, still traveling lower and the gap is still widening. So it supports the premise. The S&P 2 has had a big uh, downtrend with lower highs, high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Uh, the uh, rally that we had uh, from the 18th has been 50%. Then we had the reversal candle there, as we did on the NASDAQ, strong opening and then failure here. Now this wasn't at the resistance, it was just uh, at the 50% uh, level. This is uh, a bad development. Um, in a downtrend that a rally may be complete. So we have resistance of course at the high of yesterday 
at uh, 4,420 we'll call it and then the next resistance above if that were to break would be 4,450. We've drifted since then um, there is support at 4,360 and the low on the 18th was at 4,334. The MACD is uh, narrowing, hasn't crossed over at this point. The, MA, the RSI is moving down through the 50%, it's weak. The stochastic has given a sell actually at the beginning of yesterday, first hour of yesterday, um, on that black candle and is selling off hard. Um, at, uh, it's coming off hard at the moment. So this could be um, a resumption of the long-term downtrend and those that want to participate in that might well be sellers right at this moment uh, with protection above 4,420 looking for a break of the uh, 4,335 low um, and aware of the 4,360 um, support there. So note that this rally is 50%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, it's got a different pattern, hasn't it? It hasn't got this long downtrend with lower highs in place. We had three tops basically in, in place at uh, 35, 650, uh, one, two, and that one nearly it. Um, the MACD is crossed down at that point and it's going down. It's not going up and moving closer. It's actually going down. We, when the markets uh, uh, rallied quite strongly on the 18th, the the uh, the Dow did not participate in that. Had just just paused really, and um, came to you know so had percentage terms compared to the 61.8 percent of uh, the Nasdaq, 50 percent of the um, and the S&P. This one did nothing. It uh, maybe did uh, 20 percent of maximum, something like that, and it uh, broke down through. The uh, previous resistance point of 34,580, uh, this then became a resistance point on the rally and then we've drifted again here now. The indicators here, the RSI very weak indeed and the stochastic um, also weak and crossing down again here at a low reading. Crossing down to a low reading is a sign of weakness in a market. So of the three, um, the Nasdaq, the S&P and the, the Dow. The Dow is the weakest one of the three. Um, so, you know, if this market is legging down again and the rally is complete and the news comes out rather poorly, then this will be a pivot point and a, and a turn back in the direction of the trend. But of the three, go with the one, uh, I would suggest you go with the one which is weakest of the three, um, which is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The Nasdaq is still pretty strong and the S&P is still fairly strong in a longer term perspective, but this, uh, the, the, um, the Dow Jones is a very reluctant participant in the uh, rally that we've just had. And so it will be the first and the most enthusiastic to sell off again if this sell off continues. So here, your protection point is also um, in as, a, as a percentage of the reward potentially for this one. Um, you would have your protection above uh, 34,600 and we could look easily and even more than this down to 33,600. So that's a good three to one um, uh, reward risk ratio. Now the FTSE 100 is um, you know, is not looking ba as bad as you might think. It definitely it has come down, but it broke the downtrend line. Um, it rallied, came back to uh, 7,250, then rallied to the same point, pulled back again and has pushed up. This one looks like it is maybe turning. And if it is turning, as it uh, uh, opens here, then I think that uh, we could be easily back up towards 7,400 uh, level here. So there's not a lot to stop it in terms of resistance here. The MACD is positive on it. Uh, the RSI has jumped and broken through um, the end of the tiny bearish divergence we had between these two highs, high, same high, high, lower high, but that's been broken there, so that's positive. And then the same can be said also of the stochastic. We had a lower high in place here with the same high. It's not a, a, a stronger signal, bearish signal as 
the um, uh, it's a proper full blooded uh, bearish divergence with a price high, higher high, and indicator high and lower high. No, it's not uh, that, but it's um, um, we it's been broken anyway, and so I would take that line off now uh, because it's now looking like support, and we've actually got a higher lows pattern here. So this one, um, although it's uh, uh, you know the markets in Europe have been weak and the, the FTSE particularly weak, uh, this one looks as though it might have a, be starting a bit of a bounce, and the bounce would be probably uninterrupted and relatively frictionless up to that 4,340 level. And then finally the DAX. Now the DAX has had a bigger rally than the FTSE since the low of the 18th, and but it has come up to uh, resistance uh, from the uh, around about the 15th at 15,800 and turned down hard yesterday. This is taking the MACD back close to its signal line. It's closer to making a crossover. We have got support at 15,000. Uh, 590 and then the low here at, at 15,470. Um, so we're turning down from resistance. The MACD is officially bullish uh, but it is closing in fast on its signal line. The RSI has turned down and the slow stochastic has given two highs in place here. High, is it high, lower high? Is it a bearish divergence? I think it is just about, but it's given a sell signal yesterday and the gap is widening here. So again, this is a, looks as though the trend is resuming. However, the overall trend is not so strong. This is the one I least like the look of selling. I thank you all very much indeed uh, for uh, joining me today. Um, I'm signing off now. I wish you a great day. It's uh, Trevor Neal, Research Director at RG Research. May the trend be with you.